Chapter 6, Borrowed Fire One day Tom Fox was told by his mother to kindle the fire, which had been allowed to grow so dim that only a smoldering bed of embers was left upon the hearth. Hanging from the crane was a large kettle almost full of water. Now, in addition to his reputation for freckles, Tom was also believed to be the awkwardest boy in the Blue River settlement. Upon the day above referred to, he did all in his power to live up to his reputation by upsetting the kettle of water upon the fire, thereby extinguishing the last spark of that necessary element in the fox household. Of course, there was not a lucifer match on all Blue River from its source to its mouth. And as Mr. Fox had taken the tinderbox with him on a hunting expedition and would not return till night, Limpy received a sound thrashing and was sent to the house loft, there to ponder for the rest of the day over his misdeeds. Mrs. Fox then sent Linny over to Mrs. Brent's to borrow fire. Limpy would have been glad to go, had his mother seen fit to send him. But the task would have been a reward rather than a punishment. Linny was delighted to have an opportunity to visit the Brent cabin, so away she went, very willing indeed. Before the day was finished, she was doubly glad she had gone, and the help she was able to give to a friend in need made her devoutly thankful to the kind fate which operating through Mrs. Fox had sent her on her errand. The terrible adventure which befell her and the frightful, but I am telling my story before I come to it. When Balser was a boy, each season brought its separate work and recreation on the farm as it does now. But especially was this true in the time of the early settlers. The winter was the hunting season. The occupation of hunting, which was looked upon as sport and recreation combined, was also a business with the men who cleared the land and filled the forests of Indiana. Oopsie, oopsie. 